guez at at a at a galleon at a gal at a at a gal at a gal at a gal 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 what art style is, at least in my opinion, is an artist's preferences when he's drawing and is usually affected by his level of skill. Keyword, level of skill. Art style is kind of like an artist's identity. Yo, what's up? Welcome everyone. My name is John Apex and today I'll break down what constitutes an artist's art style and how you, how you can get your own art style. I want you to note the word individuality. What that means is your preferences are distinct from mine. You may not like beans and stew, but me, me, I love me some beans and stew. You may be a stan of K-pop, but I'm a stan of hip-hop. We can still be friends, it's alright. It's just our preferences. Not many people can do what Jim Lee, Yusuke Murata or Yusuke Nomura does in terms of skill and sheer body of work. The amount of work they've done, you know, perfect practice and failure, artists they enjoy studying and referencing, and ultimately their taste has influenced their art style and how they approach any type of work in terms of line, color, shading, and shapes. You can copy an art style extremely well, but you just can't be the original. And that's a good thing. That's that's great even because it's always important to leave a bit of your voice in your own artwork. It's what would make you unique or quote unquote original, which no one is, by the way. Take someone like Lotus Bubble for instance, right? On IG. Lydia Elaine, when she began popping off, I'm sure a lot of people were saying, Oh, 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 she she she's the lowish wannabe. She should stop copying those art style she should she should find her own art style and stay away from those and all, all that rubbish but the thing about her style was that especially to me was that no matter how close her works were to looking like that of lowish i would always know if it was lowish or lotus she was just referencing lowish's art and how lowish approached making her own art in order to make her own art better you pick and drop things along the way as you grow in art. You don't just stick with just one artist that you reference from. You may not fancy round shapes anymore at a stage in your career, but you may lean towards sharp edges. You may lean towards incorporating these two shapes together. Many people who want to draw stylistically or in a certain art style, I feel, miss two things. Well, three, if you count the point of individualism I made earlier with the extra two I'm going to make now. <clears throat> two processes people ignore are referencing and realism. Referencing. Like a wise man once said, never draw from imagination. Who said this? Me. Just now. Because your imagination is shit. Someone tells you to draw the engine of an armor tank. Unless you are the legend Kim Jong Gi or Peter Han, I see no reason why you shouldn't go online and look for references. Like, not doing that is just plain dumb. I'm very sure a lot of us admire a lot of artists and would like to pick at least one or two things from their style to incorporate into our own work. There's no shame in referencing these artists that we admire, in studying them, even though you end up looking like a uh, copycat most times. It's good to keep going and keep trying to experiment and find yourself because that's how you grow and you find your own art style eventually. But if you just spend the whole day, especially if you're just starting out as an artist, drawing from imagination, thinking you are the boss, someone asks you how many hours you drew in a day and you say, oh, oh, I drew for 10 hours today. That's, that's 10 hours of rubbish right there. That's, that's 10 hours of drawing to win the bullshit award. Wasted time. Suplex that ego of yours and just, just go online. Practice the right way and truly, it's no one business if you went online or referenced someone or not. It's not their business. Realism. Realism sets up a good base for the creation of stylized art. Take this analogy. Every language has a foundation. We are able to form a sentence in whatever language we speak because of the words we know. And why do we know these words? 
because usually we know about the alphabet. So we are able to make different sentences or not. What this means is that our knowledge of words can limit communication, conversations and even expression of thoughts between two or more people. Does that, does that make sense? You walk up to someone and say, John, a word. Who the f*** is John? What does that even mean? Get the f*** out of here. But you walk up to someone and say, my name is John. Ahambu John. Sunana John. Jumapel John. A sentence formed by the combination of words, which is the foundation of whatever language you are speaking. So, also the foundation of stylized art or illustration is realism. I'm not saying you won't be able to just brute force your way and draw like Sam Yun without learning realism. I'm saying you may not be able to expand or do more than what you see from him. Him being your only reference and foundation for stylized art. Because it's a limited process. A lot of people, myself included, are a fiend for the art of Rush Draws, Loish, Sam, Kovshinov, Wallop, Guez, At, Atigalian, Atig... Gal, Ati Galan and many others. But what many people fail to realize is that all of these guys have one thing in common, which is a strong foundation in realism. They are able to draw realistically. That's why they are able to morph this foundational knowledge and skill however they see fit. They are not limited. If you scroll down through Dex art page, my guy, all the way down you see his realistic pieces that's why he's able to do something as stylized as this or this because he understands the anatomy of the human head its properties and makeup so he bends this knowledge of the principles to his will whilst referencing Maserat at the same time giving him his own style simple formula right am i saying learn human anatomy and do realism yes 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 that's what i'm saying that's what I'm saying. It's it's important. Don't do it every time because to me, doing realism is boring. I'm not I'm not insulting people that do it. They have great skill, but doing realism, especially hyper realism, it's kind of boring. And it's also terrifying sometimes. But try to devote time once in a while to practice it so that you can reinforce and strengthen your foundation as an artist. The fact that Yusuke Nomura understands anatomy and how it works makes it relatively easy for him to make stunning poses in the Blue Lock manga. So guys, these are just the little things I've noticed from popular artists and how they arrived at their art styles. Hopefully, this tidbit can help you when studying an artist you like and admire. Thank you all for watching this video and I really appreciate it if you made it to the end. Hopefully it brought value to you. Please like and subscribe and click on the notification bell for the algo. Until next time my people, I'm Johnny Pex.